Well, the early national signing period is here, and this week, high school football seniors signing their national letters of intent early to confirm their scholarship and declare where they want to go to college. Sports Director Emily Cochran has your recap of our local athletes who signed. Football season technically never ends. The holidays are a crazy time of year because of all-star games, bowl games, and high school students are out of school. Early signing day in most cases isn't a big event for some players, but they still deserve to be celebrated nonetheless. Leroy senior wide receiver Taylor Crumity signed with the University of Tennessee Chattanooga, surrounded by family and friends. He will graduate in May and join the mocks this summer. South Alabama got quite a few studs from our area. Mary G. Montgomery QB and our first and 10 player of the year, Jared Hollins, honoring his commitment to the Jags, despite interest from Power 5 schools such as Virginia. South Alabama also flipped Faith Academy running back Ty Goodwill from Louisiana Lafayette. A big gift for Kane Womack and company and another Mobile native joining South is St. Paul's D lineman Asher Hale. A great early signing period for the Jags, who also signed Viger wide receiver Jarian Graham and Foley O lineman at Logan Joellenbeck. Five-star wide receiver Perry Thompson out of Foley stuck with Auburn and signed with the Tigers. Baker four-star wide receiver Bryce Kane officially signed with Auburn as well. And Gulf Shores running back Ronnie Royal signed with NC State, while Davidson running back DJ Butler signed with Houston. Spanish Fort linebacker Sterling Dixon and Cole McConathy signing with Alabama and Miami. And Baker four-star quarterback Josh Flowers signed with Arkansas State. Congratulations to all our local players that signed this week, and we wish you the best of luck at the next level. I'm Emily Cochran, Fox 10 Sports.